Oh my god, man. If I was able to walk around in Blender and like fucking that would be just insane. I was gonna I'm gonna test my uh my current world, but Alright, let me make sure. I'll do friends plus and then I'll go back to the gra graffiti. I made a bunch of changes to this world, and it should be a hell of a lot more reliable now. And I learned some weird lessons, and I ran into a really weird and discerning fucking limitation. But you notice that the uh, the little balls, they're not rendering anymore? Well, I figured it out. So, I figured out how to make it work now. See? The mirror has to turn on on its own. The buttons were just not working. Like nothing I would do would change the fact that the buttons would just not work. And the other thing I was doing was um, I, w I had a ceiling over top for the occlusion calling, but I didn't have anything below. So a lot of the leaf nodes that were below would, would jut down a little bit and then it would start causing flickering because the leaf node that I'm standing in can see into a leaf node that's all the way over there kind of like a like it was a submarine or something you know it was going under the water and um so what i did was i put the occlusion pulling on the bottom and then i put one on the top but then that made it so that there was no occlusion calling at all because each of these areas were separate little like caves no more blue balls <laughs> yeah <laughs> i could probably make them blue balls again but um because I changed the color of everything and I made it a lot more muted. It's a lot more desaturated. So I got rid of the ceiling. And now uh, you can look down from above if you can manage to get up there somehow. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this is going to be kind of hard to get up there. Only like Hawkins and, and Zealous ever managed to really do it. Ugh. Yeah, desktop users, man. You can spam that. You can spam that shit. Uh, uh, uh. Is there a way I can actually view my treasure chest and like in my chat? Oh shit! Oh shit! This shit's off the grid a little bit. Oh no! Oh no! It's fucking literally unplayable. Uh. God damn it! I can't get up there. I can't get that last part. Oh! Oh shit! I made it. Okay, so. Now I'm looking down and I can see everything. I can see where everybody is. Uh, there's no roof. And I needed to get rid of the roof. Oops. I needed to get rid of the roof because uh, the occlusion calling was just marking these as separate tiny little areas that didn't need to be occluded. So now that I know that, that it was a really important fucking lesson with the occlusion calling in this shitty system. If you separate areas and they are complete boxes, they will simply render at all times. That drove me crazy, and that was a problem that I ran into before on older maps. Uh, when I was working on Zombies Nightclub, I was trying to like make this, this two little rooms off to the side so that you couldn't see into them. Nope. Nope. It was, it was fucking driving me crazy. And the reason why was simple. Is because you have to let air into the fucking rooms. You have to let the sun in, I guess, so to speak. You, you can't have them be completely uh, secluded boxes. So now that I got this figured out, see how, see how it, there's absolutely, the balls are, are not coming in at all? Like, boom. 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 Yep. And now the I'm, now I just got to figure out why the fucking mirrors are breaking, the triggers. Yep, um, it's still probably going to be a little bit uh, wonky because you'll still see people like as they're walking between. Oh, oh. Yep. It'll probably still be a little bit uh, weird because um, people's bounding volumes might poke through and stuff like that because they have different size avatars or they're moving and stuff like that. But with that said, this is a lot better now. Also the layout 
the layout's been changed a lot more now so that there's no um so each of these areas are kind of like a little separate space so like you can you can go through the mirror room you can go to this mirror room over here and you don't have to go you don't have to enter it enter another area to get to it so like there's a little thing here and what this does is it makes it so that each of these are their own little space. Like you can hang out in here and not see people walking through it all the time because they're trying to get through. It's not a, it's not a passing, you know, an area that you pass through to get to it. Um, so most, most people will, you know, they'll directly enter into it however they want. Now I just got to figure out how to make each of these a little separate uh, microcosm where if you click on, you click on this thing, Maybe even make it a little bit smaller. Uh, it just suddenly, like, you're in a little environment. And it's just like a little tiny, you know, low poly, cool place with, like, beanbag chairs. Or maybe one of these could have a movie player in it. Maybe I could do, like, couches and fucking, uh, you know, like, maybe on this wall over here that could be so you can play videos and stuff. Well, yes. It's, uh... Yeah, this 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 should be a pretty big difference. Uh, also, too, I brought in warmer colors. The the cold blue um, felt a little too cold. Also, was causing people to have their eyes. You know, they were uh, they were like staring at blue the whole time, and a lot of people mentioned that. So, yeah, like, no. Nah, in this particular case, I had to. I I brought in some warmer colors, stuff that's a little bit more reminiscent of maybe you're walking on dirt. You know, a little, some brown, some oranges, a little bit of red in the white so that it's not so, um, so that it's not so sterile, I guess that would be the best way to s describe it. So that it feels a little bit more homey or a little bit more like a place, even though it's still just a box map. <laughs> so you have a little bit of warmth and you have a little bit uh, of contrast to that. And then I desaturated and I brought in the light uh i brought down the light uh, how bright the textures are as well so that they don't bounce so much and you get a little bit more warmth bouncing up into the uh into the blues it should feel it should feel a little bit more like a you know like a little playground or something that's the idea anyway i probably should have recorded this whoops because i could have just made a video out of that fucking hell <laughs> maybe i'll make a video out of it later uh, and I also made it so that jumping's a little easier, so you can just, you can get up here, so Zealous can have his little lizard spot. He, he has multiple lizard spots now. We'll never know where Zealous will be. Um, the mirrors will be a problem, though, because you can't just turn them off, uh, with a switch. And I don't know why it's so broken. It's just really broken. Um, I can get one switch to work, and then all the other ones just refuse to work. And I'm not sure what's causing it. It works fine now. And there's three different mirrors, so... Maybe it's, uh... You know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is a, this is a huge step in the, in the right direction, I think, for this place. Yeah, I can just grab the replay. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because, uh, yeah. Like, I mean, it, it, was, uh, it was a pretty good breakdown of what I was thinking on and everything like that. So now, um, I'm not going to be able to work on this anymore for a little while. Because I'm putting all my, uh, all my time into Revulsion. So that I can get the patch done that I was supposed to get done this week. But, uh. Or actually, I was supposed to get it done early, early last week, but I've just been distracted. Ugh. But either way, that is actually one of the nice things about having the stream up, though, is that there's a replay. So I'm not really sure what environment I would put here, but like if you click this, maybe it'll turn into um, like a or something like that swimming pool area of course I'd have to change the way the, the I'd have to 
change the topology a little bit so that it would it would match but like um so basically it's a box map it's a box map where you can um turn it into something that isn't a box map uh, depending on what you do with it and then i just got to keep the file size down and uh make sure that the light maps don't get too out of control and uh it should be yeah i want to do a campfire over here so like you're in the woods and when you click this you'll be in a black box and maybe there's some like low poly trees on the edges and like maybe i don't know so it'll be something like that and there'll be like a dynamic light with the fire and everybody can just kind of chill out next to it and then you'll have the mirror here and then, uh, so like one of the things that Zombie always mentions when when she uh, gets tired of the box maps is that they it always feels like you're in the same place. But if each of these ends up being kind of their own little area, it it might not feel that way. So like everybody likes to hang out in box maps, but nobody wants to be in them for too long, right? So maybe there's a there's a sort of a middle ground. Like I want this one here to be like a bedroom. So there would be like a bed here and, and like, I don't know, stuff like that. So it's like, this world uh, could accommodate a movie room pretty well because the noise and the rendering distractions would be minimal. Yeah, I'm thinking on this side over here will be like a living room or something like that um one of these i want to be in like a nightclub the nightclub will probably need a mirror though so i might have to take the campfire and put it in one of these other ones because uh people will want to dance in front of the mirror i don't know i'll, I'll have to think about it <laughs> Whoa. I'm standing up too tall. <sighs> Alright, so this should be a pretty big improvement. And I learned some important lessons about the occlusion calling. So I can maximize uh, a little bit more when it comes to optimizing these fucking levels. I wonder if it would actually be a way to get more publicity. Is to actually kind of make myself uh, a name for myself as being like a, uh, a VR chat level designer or something. Maybe that would be a good way to get more promotion. Because, I mean, if you can make a box map that doesn't feel like a box map, that's probably a pretty big win. And I am drinking tonight, so uh, my uh, sobriety is limited. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, wait, I didn't, even, I didn't even turn on my camera. Oh, this entire time, I didn't even have my camera turned on properly.